In 2010, a supposedly paranormal video began circulating around the internet. In the video, an 11-year-old Jamaican boy, who claims to be the victim of a supposed haunting, is being interviewed by CBM News when he is suddenly attacked by an invisible force which attempts to drag him off screen. In today's episode of Creepy Videos from the Internet, we're going to take a closer look at the origins of this video and uncover what the heck is actually happening here. The story began back in 2010, when residents of Martin Street in Spanish Town, Jamaica reported odd occurrences were taking place around one residence in particular. Apparently, some invisible force, believed to be a duppy, had been throwing stones at the house, and this was witnessed by many people. Others said that they tried to enter the property only to have objects thrown at them. Further to this, many of the supposed witnesses mentioned an 11-year-old boy who seemed to be the focal point of the phenomenon. Although there were many witnesses who claimed to have been hit by stones and other flying objects, the boy was the only one who reported actually seeing anything. According to the boy, the commotion was being caused by the ghost of a child, who had befriended him but had grown more mischievous and violent as time went on, and had begun physically attacking him. The boy described the ghost, or Duppy, as a child about his own age dressed in white pants, a black shirt and a black watch. Shortly afterwards, a CVM news crew showed up and captured footage of the boy supposedly under attack by said duppy. This 11-year-old boy claims he is being haunted by a ghost. For the past week, word of the so-called duppy has caused alarm on Martin Street in Spanish Town. The family says they've tried praying for the boy and taking him to church, but the ghost would only follow them inside, causing havoc, pulling the boy and throwing objects wherever he goes. Our news team was in the neighborhood Wednesday night to witness some of the events that have residents convinced of an otherworldly presence. Watch closely and judge for yourself. They say that's how it's been for the past several days. The boy says the ghost is actually a friend who died four years ago. He claims the friend suddenly started appearing to him, wearing a white top, black pants and a black watch. It's been nothing but chaos for the family and neighbors. I'm licking him down, I'm drying him, I'm flinging the tigari, I'm flinging the slippers, and lick me on my back, and lick me on my yes temple. With it like the little stone, him just a fling and dry him out of the bed, dry him in a corner, dry him everywhere and go. Watch again as our news crew filmed the second incident similar to the accounts we were given. This time, the boy claims he sees the ghost standing near the wall and goes over to stand next to it. Touch ya, tell me when I'm at touch ya. I'm at touch ya. I'm at touch ya, fool. Yeah! He's a half, boy. You're a wall. Try to take him away, let me see. Oh, you're afraid, you're a coward. You're not doing nothing. Hey, watch out! All right, all right, all right, oh, oh. The man seen anointing the boy with olive oil and challenging the ghost to a fight. Why the heck do people always do that, by the way? If you want to eat my heart, turn that light on. I think the demon's a wimp, he's lost his mind. Is one Reverend Roland Edwards. According to Edwards, after his intervention, the phenomenon decreased, and even though the boy still reported seeing the dubby, he was no longer being attacked. But it's worth mentioning that this is a guy who covers little boys in olive oil and invites demons to come play grab ass with them. Oh, you're afraid, you're a coward. You're not doing nothing. So take that with a very large grain of salt. So how much truth is there to this whole incident? Although the community of Martin Street appear to be solid believers, reactions across Jamaica seem to have been mixed. Although there were many who took the story at face value, many others thought that the boy was likely just a skilled contortionist who was tricking gullible adults into giving him attention, and more than a few people demonstrated how easily this could be done. I... <laughs> Slowing down the footage itself doesn't reveal too much. I don't see anything damning in the slowed down versions of the attacks. It's possible that this could be faked as we've already seen, but I can't see any smoking gun here. 
except for this one, where the boy is seen sitting in a chair before being pulled back. Slowed down, we can see that the boy seems to be just pushing himself backwards with his feet. Also, taking a closer look at some of the other duppy attacks, I noticed a few things. One, even though the duppy boy's face is heavily blurred, you can still see that he's smiling during and after the attacks. And in this one, he can be heard audibly laughing. Oh, you're afraid? You're a coward. <laughs> Also, I find it interesting that these attacks always happen after an adult says something to the effect of, is the spirit touching you now? Yeah. Try to take him away, let me see. Two seconds later. I, I hate to force my opinion in situations like this, preferring instead to simply present the facts and allow the viewer to decide. But to me, this seems very much like a case of a child seeking attention, coupled with mass hysteria, such as the hilarious leprechaun in Mobile Alabama incident, where there were multiple sightings of a leprechaun that made a whole community go stark raving bonkers in the funniest way possible. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. I gotta do look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yeah? yeah! I wanna know where to go. I want to go. Give me the go. I want to go. In recent years, a local dwarf was named as the likely culprit for the series of events, allegedly dressing up as a leprechaun to freak people out as a prank that got out of hand. Yeah, stay alone there, guy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. This was our spells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute, which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great great grandfather, who was Irish. This theory is even more likely when you consider that stories of residents being driven out of their homes by malicious duppies and other forces are pretty damn common according to Jamaican news. For example, this case, and this one. It's been weeks of frustration for one family in Rose Hall, St. Elizabeth, which says evil spirits have been making their lives a living hell. And this one, and this one, and this one where another house in Spanish town was burned down by a duppy after said duppy allegedly left a note saying that they were going to burn the house down. That's why you always leave a note. Either Jamaica is the world's biggest hotspot of inexplicable paranormal phenomenon, or there's just a strong local cultural belief that duppies are real. That, in this instance, has been exploited by a child for the purpose of getting some attention and having a bit of a laugh. And with that, the Martin Street Duppy trail goes cold. The Duppy boy seems to have disappeared into the mists of time, with some commenters alleging that he actually passed away in 2016, which I've been unable to confirm. From what I have managed to dig up, I'm fairly certain that the Duppy boy's family aren't in on any deception, as they don't seem to have gained anything from the attention. In fact, quite the opposite. The boy's father mentions that they have moved several times, and the phenomenon has always followed them, with the boy's grandmother last shown crying hysterically. Oh, and the boy's father claims that the duppy is still attacking the boy. So, so much for Captain Olive Oil. And in the end, I don't know what's worse. Having your life ruined by a malicious supernatural force, or a child who thinks it's all just a laugh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time. Hey, be like, Ooh, what? Can you teach me how to duppy? You know why? The ghosts are coming for me. All I need is a beat that's super bumping them. You, you, you. And duppy, duppy fling the slippers, duppy make me mother frown. This duppy crazy, duppy try to lick me down. Me hope he not find ya, me wish you good luck. Duppy climbing through your windows, snatching your people up. Teach me how to duppy, teach me, teach me how to duppy. Teach me how to duppy, teach me, teach me how to duppy. Everybody duppy, everybody duppy, everybody duppy. Don't mess with the duppy. Teach me how to duppy, teach me, teach me how to duppy. Teach me how to duppy, teach me, teach me how to duppy. Everybody, 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 everybody